Ubiquity just undercut the competition with their new travel router. It's smaller. It's cheaper. Wait a minute, what? This is Unify. This is Ubiquity. It's cheaper. And it's not just smaller. It's way smaller. But it's Wi-Fi 5. Is that a deal breaker? Or did Unify nail the formula? Stay tuned to find out. All right, before we get into the unboxing, let's talk a little bit about what a travel router is for. Well, in fact, let's talk about what it's not first. It's probably easier to talk about that. It's not about getting faster internet speeds. It's not about getting a replacement for your home router. And it's not going to magically fix bad hotel Wi-Fi. Just isn't. Uh, unfortunately, that's really a uh, reality. Uh, but what it is, is security and privacy... Uh, so it creates your own encrypted network on top of an untrusted public Wi-Fi. I'm sure you've heard stories about people that have gotten their information stolen because they went on to that untrusted. This does give you a certain amount of security by keeping your devices off of uh, the direct uh, hotel Wi-Fi. Uh, it also provides a single sign-on, so you connect the router once to the hotel Wi-Fi and all your devices have already connected up to your travel router before. So you don't need to worry about reconnecting all of your devices every single time. You just need to worry about connecting your, your one device, your one travel router. Um, the other thing is that some hotels and I'm going to Vegas and I know that they have a limit, uh, but a lot of hotels will limit you on the number of devices. So if you're traveling with a family, everybody's got their own phone, maybe a tablet, all these different devices, you're going to easily exceed that two to three device limit, limit that some of the hotels uh, uh, do have. So the travel router counts as one, and that'll be your only device directly on the network. So you get around that uh, specific limitation. Um and then lastly, it has some advanced features. You have VPN support, ad blocking, parental controls. Uh, you know, in general, I'm talking about not on specific ones I'm going to show here necessarily. Uh, I'm not going to get into those features now. But in general, routers will give you that additional support. In this particular case, the ones I'm going to be showing will both have VPN support. So you will be able to connect back into your home network or in some cases, back into uh, a business network. So if we look at this real world scenario, you check in a hotel, instead of connecting your phone, laptop, tablet, smartwatch, and all your kids' devices to the hotel Wi-Fi separately, entering that code, whatever the Wi-Fi password is that the hotel provides you that's always hard to remember usually, um, you only have to do that once. Uh, you don't have to do it on every single device. Your devices don't get cluttered up with all these different Wi-Fi passwords. Um, only your travel router is going to have that. And everything else, because they've already signed into the travel router, just works like it does at home. And it's all encrypted through your own local network that's hooked up to the hotel network. And with all that said, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, we're going to do a quick unboxing. I just got this uh, today. It is the Unified Travel Router, and I thought the way it was packaged was pretty cool. Basically, just ripping that off on the back side, opening it up kind of like a deck of cards, and then it will, I'm guessing, just... Oh, actually, you know what? It's got a nice little tab here. You just pull it out, and then this is what you got left. Now we can pull the actual travel router out itself. It also comes with a short little cable that can be used for power or tethering. And then it does have some little documentation here as well. In fact, let's take a look to see, is this just regulatory or is it actually instructions? Let's take a look. But again, who looks at this stuff? You're gonna go look at it online. No, it actually does have, this is an instruction manual. Holy cow. 
I have good eyes. Who the heck can read that? Uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at that online. And oh, there you go. Installation guide with a QR code. Yeah, that's what people are going to be doing. All right. So they probably could have just packaged it with a QR code instead, but they didn't. So let's go ahead and take that off. Does it now just slide out? Or do I have to? Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't be that difficult. I think I just have to get a way to grab it on this end and it'll just slide out. Or oh, you know what? No. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. It slid out. There we go. So there you have it. That is so small. So if you compare it to the other travel router I was planning on bringing with me, and I still might bring both. Um, and I see pros and cons with both of these, but this is the other one. You can see this thing is small, but it's a behemoth compared to this thing. This thing I could bring onto the CES show floor, put it on my sling, and I wouldn't even know it was there. So if I want to connect to the internet, um, you know, through the show Wi-Fi, I can still have some security and actually still connect back to home through this device. So that's pretty cool. Now, with that said, I can also do the same thing with this one. The GLINet uh, Barrel AX, this one has the ability to uh, use tail scale. It's got built-in tail scale, while this one has built-in teleport, which is WireGuard. Um, it's um, Ubiquiti's version of WireGuard. But this one is really, really easy to set up. Now, with that said, I know how to set this up to uh, work with tethering. And what I, what I mean by that is I don't want to have to pay Verizon in order to be able to tether. So there's different apps, but you have to be able to set up a proxy. This one, I know you can do it. This one, I'm not so sure. So that will probably be for a future video, but I did want to show the difference in size between the two. I mean, it's just, it's not even close. Now, what's interesting is this one, I believe now is cheaper than this one. This one I got on sale shortly after the Slate 7 came out. Um, so th this was right around the same price. I think it was, this was $68, I believe. Um, but normally it's like $89.99. And this one is $79. Um, now, if you have a Ubiquiti system, that is really what this is intended for. This is intended for people who have a, a dream machine or some other similar uh, device where this can link back to. That's really where the advantage is here. Um, one other thing is this one will have better performance. This has Wi-Fi 5. This one has Wi-Fi 6 um, and does have a little bit better throughput than this device. But again, what is the application of this? The application of this is going and using Hotel Snail uh, Wi-Fi. I mean, Wi-Fi, you'd be lucky to get five or 10 megabits per second uh, on hotel Wi-Fi. Let's just say you had awesome Wi-Fi and it was 50 up and down. This could do that. This can do 300. This one, on the other hand, can do higher speeds, but traveling in hotels and for travel in general, um, this is just going to be a much better option, especially if you want um uh, Wi-Fi or um, a travel router on the go. This is just way smaller to, to carry. Um, I'm going to be carrying this in my sling and uh, I won't even know it's there. This one, on the other hand, it's a, it's a bit heftier. Um, again, great device uh, and, and good for what it is, but yeah, for what I need right now, this is what I need. I might end up returning this. This is a this was bought within the Christmas time frame of Amazon. So I have until January 31st to return this. So I may return this. I haven't decided yet, but I'm definitely, I, I can't see a way that I will not keep the travel router. Um, so let's go over a little bit more. Uh, it does not have a SIM card. Um, it does have a uh, USB port uh, for USB-C for power. Um, 
It does appear to have a another USB port here as well. That does have a plug. That's kind of cool. I hadn't seen that before. So it does have a plug. So um, if you're just using it for power and you're not using it for tethering, that's the tether port. Um, it does have a plug when you're not using it. And then the, obviously, like I said, this is for power. It uses like three watts. That's the other thing. With this one, it actually came with a charging cable, but this one's only five watts. So you could use, you don't necessarily have to use this big behemoth thing either. Um, you could just use uh, some other USB-C that's going to provide five watts. Heck, a battery bank could provide that uh, as long as it has the ability to do five watts. So, and then the other thing I thought was pretty cool is the, the spring loaded uh, WAN port and uh, LAN port. Uh, so if you are in a hotel, lucky enough to be in a hotel that still has wired connections, you would be able to hook up to it. But in most cases, you're going to be hooking up to Wi-Fi uh, uh, at the hotel. Um, and then it does have a reset uh, pinhole as well. Now, this does not have a SIM uh, card, so you cannot, this is not cellular at all. This is only Wi-Fi and wired. So again, it, it meets a specific need for 90% of use cases uh, and other use cases. There are other devices that can be used. I would expect that they will take this form factor and upscale it from here, maybe go to Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 7, maybe put in a SIM card, make it a little bit bigger because it's going to have to accommodate more electronics. But uh, for right now, I think they hit the sweet spot with this. I would bet money that this thing is sold out. So let me, let's me let do this. Let's check to see if this, this was on sale as of Monday. Today is Wednesday. Um, so let's see if it sold out. I'm pretty sure it sold out on Monday, but we're going to check. And then I also want to see what the Barrel AX price is going for. Like I said, this is a great little device. Um, it's just for the uh, convenience of carry, especially if you're on a, uh, at a trade show uh, where you are moving around, um, this thing is great. You cannot uh, beat the size of this thing. All right, let's take a look at the uh, pricing. I have a quick favor to ask before we check pricing and availability. If you're finding this comparison helpful, please hit that like button. It tells YouTube to show this to more people trying to decide between these routers. I really appreciate it. Okay, so here is the Barrel AX, and I was right. It now has gone back up to uh, $90. Uh, like I said, I bought this on sale for $68 uh, as a uh, Cyber Monday deal uh, at the time. So, all right, let's go check to see if the uh, travel router is out of stock. Yes, and currently the Unified Travel Router is sold out. I knew this was going to be a really popular uh, device, and uh, and it has proven to be such. So I'll be curious to see how many other people might be carrying these around while at the show. And uh, But I would expect they'll be getting more of these in stock relatively quickly. I think they knew it was going to be popular, but uh, I think they really would have liked to have hit the Christmas rush, but they didn't. Uh, but yeah, this will be... Uh, this will be back in stock, uh, I'm sure, very, very soon. So is Wi-Fi 5 enough? Here's my take. If you're using this for what travel routers are actually designed for, securing hotel Wi-Fi and connecting multiple devices, the Unify Travel Router nails it. Absolutely nails it. The smaller size makes it pocketable. You can take this thing anywhere. You won't even know it's there. And Wi-Fi 5 is plenty for the internet speeds you'll get when you're on the road, whether you're at a venue or you're in your hotel room. But if you need Wi-Fi 6 for local device transfers, like if your device has a USB 3.0 port on it, um, where you have it basically acting as a local NAS for your family so everybody can use that one single drive, uh, 
then maybe spending a little extra money on the Barrel AX is the right solution for you. Either way, you can't really go wrong. I'm really curious, though, what you guys think. Let me know which one you'd pick in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.